What up, people? Let's talk about Chia. Chia has been quite hot lately. We call it the Chia cryptocurrency or Chia coin. So uh, a lot of people has been asking us how do we get Chia. Okay, Chia is a bit different from your standard cryptocurrency mining, which uh, you get fractions but, uh, of the coin by sending your graphics card or your processor to mine. So uh, on mining, you get tiny fractions, but on Chia, we call it farming. Okay, farming as in like a farmer trying to farm for the crops. So how it works on farming, you need of course the farmer. Okay, let's say farmer, we call it the CPU. Your CPU will be your farmer. So for now, we need at least four cores of CPU to make it worthwhile. Okay, to make it fast enough to do all the farming and your basic uh, computing pro, um, things in your PC. So we need four cores. Let's treat all those CPU cores as the farmer, okay? This is the farmer, so at least you have four cores. So the more cores you have, the, be the better, because you can do more work uh, more efficiently. You have more people to sign up to work. So what do they work at? They work at the hard disk. The hard disk, we call it our farm, okay? It's like plots of lands, undeveloped lands. We call it undeveloped lands. Your fresh hard disk, you buy, you bought it from store, uh, example, we have 8 terabyte, 8 terabyte, 8 terabyte. But all these 8 terabyte cannot be used to farm your char coin yet because these, farm, these lands are uh, not developed yet. So you need to plot these lands to prepare them to get the char coin. So how do you prepare? So of course, you need to send your CPU, which is your, your worker, to work at the land, okay, to work at the land. But they need equipments. So what equipments they need? So farmer, of course, you need a hat. Uh, you need some glove and shoes. Of course, the most important is your shovel. Okay, you need a shovel. Shovel. So for ram, we'll treat it as glove. Okay, glove. Your shoes. Those things that hardly break. Okay, you can wear it and work for a considerable amount of time without it breaking. So we'll call those your standard uh, equipment, you'll need your glove and stuff, we call it the ramp. So each person, okay, each car, you need some glove, you need some shoes. For now, uh, each person to plot a K32, okay, this will be explained on further videos if you, are, you guys are interested. Okay, to plot a K32, you will need roughly around uh, 3 GB RAM, but the best is to have 6 GB RAM, okay? This will be explained on the technical side of the video if uh, you guys are more interested in. But now, we use layman's term and try to explain how to farm the chia. So we need RAM. After that, what we need? Of course, the tools, we need shovel. But this shovel is like uh, playing on Minecraft, okay? The more you use your tools, it has a lifespan. The lifespan for the NVMe SSD is like a lifespan on your Minecraft, the tools. The more you work on it, it will reduce the lifespan and then it will break, okay? So this NVMe SSD, most importantly, you need to take note is the TBW, okay? TBW is like the lifespan. So how this guy works is, this farmer, your CPU core, will take some RAM, your glove, uh, your shoes and stuff, and take the shovel, which is your NVMe, the, it will connect these two resources and start plotting the land, okay? It will start... It will start uh, plotting, but temporarily it will store in your NVMe SSD storage. Okay, for example, this is a one terabyte. Okay, usually one terabyte we can plot K32 two. You can plot two K32 plots in here. So you temporarily plot and work, 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 work. Once it develop a uh, prepared land, it will be transferred here. Okay. After certain hours, usually roughly around 6 hours for now, 6 hours is kind of optimized. I'm not sure whether we can do it better, but I'm pretty sure someone has better ways on optimizing. So for example, after 6 hours of preparing, we get 2 farms, okay? In here, we call it 2 plots. So out of your 8 terabyte example, you have 2 plots. So these 2 plots will be ready to receive a Chia coin, okay? It will be sent to challenge to challenge the uh, internet, okay, everyone in the world to challenge. And if your plot of land is suitable for the latest char coin, it will receive a char coin. So, 
So let's continue. So if your plot of land is suitable for a child coin, it will receive a child coin. But let's say you bought a lot of 8 terabytes, but all these 8 terabytes are still unprepared. Okay, it's unprepared. You can't get it. So as fast as possible, you need to plot your 8 terabytes. Okay, let's fill it up, fill it up, fill it up. This will increase your chance of getting the child coin because how child child coin work is it's like someone okay take it, uh, the internet okay the latest child coin will be dropped from the sky it's like an RNG base it will be luck based so for this to work example you have other people on the internet who have multiple plots multiple plots of land prepared okay on their hard disk okay prepared to farm they are all farming against you. Let's say this one and this one is not yours, it's someone else. You only have this 8 terabyte and this 16 terabyte owned by someone else. And, so, and the child coin will randomly okay, be challenged to drop on either one of these plot of land. And then uh, with luck, okay, with luck, today this child coin is suitable for with one of your land. It will drop on one of your land. And there you go, this child coin will flourish and you own this char coin and based on experience the amount of char coin you receive will be two char coins but how much does this char coin worth right now it doesn't worth anything it doesn't have value yet it the moment uh, it comes to the market on the exchanges it might worth uh, lesser than a market pen okay or it might worth up to 2000 or 1005 based on the speculative price uh, us dollar i'm talking about us dollar okay mm -hmm. it might worth up to that that will instantly roi your machine but let's say today you have all this eight three okay let's say you have 32 uh, some, some so you have 24 terabytes of land prepared by your pc so once prepared okay you wouldn't need your NVMe to work anymore and your CPU will be idle because all these farms are prepared so what it will do it will slowly wait for the chair to drop on one of the plot if you are lucky enough okay if you are lucky enough if one of it drop you get more chair okay it's not necessarily the more plots of land you got the faster you will get it's just that you will have higher chance let's say you have eight a lot of 8 terabytes and someone just started okay that fellow just have two maybe 200 GB of plots but then let's say he is very very lucky this Chia might just drop on his land and he wins against you because he get the two child coin and not you because this one is based on RNG based on luck doesn't mean the more land you have the easier uh, it does get easier to get okay but it's still based on your luck so there is no ROI that can be calculated right now so to get to summarize how to mine how to farm a chair coin you need a CPU which is your worker you need some utilities and tools like your glove and stuff because which is your RAM and most importantly take note of your NVMe because your NVMe is something like your Minecraft, okay, you have something like Minecraft. Your tools will have a HP bar, HP bar, which is your TBW. So the more you use your NVMe, the faster it will degrade, the lifespan will degrade. Once your NVMe dies and exceeded your TBW, okay, let's say it's exceeded your TBW and it dies, so there will be no more warranty, okay. For warranty on NVMe SSD, it based on the years, example five years, or the TBW, for example one thousand TBW, whichever that reaches first. So example reach either this one or this one, then your shower will be useless. You need to get a new shower. For the RAM, I recommend at least thirty two GB. You need thirty two GB of RAM to make this work. Okay, hold on. We would recommend. Your processor at least four cores the more the better and for your RAM 16 does work but not really enough because each time you plot okay each plotting job will require the best to, uh, to give is around 6 GB of RAM okay 6 6.5 6.7 is fine around 6 I will say start with 32 GB it will be good and one terabyte NVMe SSD if your motherboard supports uh, 
two slots of maybe Gen 3 or Gen 4, you can use one TB each, okay? So you can plot more. The more, the merrier, okay? Because you have a lot of workers, if you don't have enough of shovel, you can't do as much job. Some workers will be left there idle, so you need more shovel. And if shovel too much, not enough worker, not good also. So as long as this tree is balanced, you plot, okay, optimize the plotting, plot as much as possible, grow your farm as big as possible, okay? The more, the faster, the better. You get higher and higher, higher chance to win against the internet in your luck-based game to get Chia coin. Because now, the whole internet is growing exponentially, the amount of storage, but your plot of land, which already you developed, it doesn't expire, okay? It doesn't expire. Even though it wins a challenge and you got a char coin from it, you do not need to delete, okay? You do not need to delete. Just leave it there and keep farming. So I hope this can uh, somehow, okay, manage to let you guys understand how char farming works. So if you guys need any farming machine, you can contact us and hopefully we'll catch you up with some good machines that can farm because currently quite uh, shortish, okay? So, this is it, Cha Farming. Thank you for watching. I hope this is educational and you guys can help me share the video. Thank you.